Hi, I'm Jim Pike, third grade teacher at Ascension Catholic School. Welcome to Minecraft Math, brought to you by Learn by Gaming. Today I will show you the lesson on Aryan Perimeter. I start off using a super flat land and whole class instruction. I just play this on the computer. Um, I start off by showing the students the, how to make a perimeter. And that's the first thing we make. We count as we break blocks. I look back to show them that the first block in the next row is already been broken but it still gets counted and um, I wanted to make a perimeter that was seven by six and there it is voila now that I'm done um, I like to run around my perimeter to show the kids that perimeter is something that you run around or go around and when they do it it will also help with their navigation skills now clear out the rest of the blocks in the middle and ask the kids um, to copy this down on their graph paper, go over the dimensions with them again, and ask them how many blocks will it take to fill the area. And, you know, as I start to fill the area, I like to use iron, gold, lapis lazuli blocks, um, diamond blocks, redstone blocks, uh, because they're really easy to see. They all, they all don't blend together. I think that's kind of important. They make it easy to count. One thing I really like about this lesson is just how simple it was to do. Um, anybody who had Minecraft at home on their computer just can plug into your projector and go for it. Uh, you can be a total novice at the game uh, because the goal of the game is not of this lesson is not to build something super awesome. It is to do math. It is a laboratory for math, and that's how I view Minecraft as a virtual laboratory for science, for math, for social studies. All right, so now let's take a look at our area. I ask the kids to count how many colors do they see. Um, they see seven colors. I ask them how many blocks are in each color. Uh, they say six. So, as they go over it on their graph paper, I point out, hey, isn't that 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6, as in 6, 7 times? So, you can do 6 times 7 or 7 times 6. Do your best with guided questioning to see if they can figure out the formula for area and perimeter on their own. And make a sign. Put a sign on everything. As you see, I'm putting area equals 7 times 6 equals 42 and perimeter equals 6 plus 6 plus 7 plus 7 and now I'm going to do something a little cool I'm going to show the students how to show their work on Minecraft um, perimeter equals 12 plus 14 and you know the, they can see the steps on easier ways to do it and now we made our first Aryan perimeter in Minecraft. Congratulations! Um, do a few more uh, rectangles, either walls, more foundations, and uh, have fun with it. Use it as word problems. Okay, uh, now I let the kids into the world and they ran around making rectangles any way they want, any size they want. And as you can see, Brianna is very proud of her first area. Uh, next we'll move on to uh, Jamie, I believe. Jamie had been struggling with math for a while, but it's amazing that she's getting it on her own because she thinks she's playing a video game. Um, it's awesome. Uh, Ashley's, we're going into her uh, little house now. Haha, <laughs> she'd be glad that there's a happy cow in her house. All right, so she did the area and perimeter of this wall. It was four by eight, and she did her floor as well. Um, Ashley also did the area and perimeter for the outside of the wall, and she was really happy to find out that it was different, and she knew why it was different, because the walls, the inside are part of that area is taken over by the wall going other place. Ah, there it is. Uh, Charlie even went as the far as to go into volume by making a swimming pool. And, and that was clever. He put the volume sign inside the swimming pool. In the background, you can see some other lessons we've done with uh, bar graphs and multiplication towers. One thing I like about this math standard-based way of teaching Minecraft is that as you get better at the game, you can use it as 10-15 minute intro activities so students will understand the math behind their complicated builds.